All right, so you're telling us there's a chance conditions might be just right to spot the northern lights over Metro Detroit this weekend. Well, the last time we had northern lights over Metro Detroit, you guys were so awesome, sending us so many photos to my picks. Now, Chris Ann sent us this one right here from Commerce Township. And also check out this one from uh, Sue over in Pinckney. That was pretty cool. Also, Sharon from Washington Township. Uh, sent us this. So uh, the question is, are we going to get a repeat performance this weekend? Brett Collar is here now with a outlook and why this is all happening. Hey, Brett. Hey, guys. We're going to kind of geek out for a minute. So get out your pocket protectors if you have them. Uh, this is kind of a cool event. Let's talk about the how first. We, of course, have the Earth and the Sun. And the Sun's giving off that dangerous uh, radiation. But for us here on Earth, we're okay because uh, we have the Earth's magnetic field that's protecting us from that harmful radiation but you'll notice that there are some weak spots, north and south poles, right? We know that. Uh, but sometimes the sun gets a little active. This has been happening the past couple of days where we get these coronal mass ejections, these CMEs, these solar flares that eject a lot of really charged particles through space and they're heading towards Earth. And because of the Earth and these uh, weaker spots in the uh, uh, field, you get some of the northern and the southern lights that will start to appear. So the question is, why is that? Well, as we take a look here, you can see that the most abundant gases in the atmosphere, nitrogen and oxygen, right? And so these harmful particles are interacting with those, and that's what helps to give us the northern lights, which is kind of cool. Now, the question here is uh, the colors, right? We get different colors, and it's all dependent upon the gas that's in the atmosphere. Uh, oxygen, you'll get more of the reds and the greens. The nitrogen, you'll get more of the blues and the purples. That's a look at the hot. As for what we're expecting, we'll travel over here. Uh, the forecast for the next couple of nights depends upon where you are and what time. Now, the peak of this storm, the KP index, is about 7, which would put it south of southeastern Michigan. That's going to be during the day tomorrow. The sun's up. We won't see them then. Tonight, the KP index is going to be closer to 5, but tomorrow night, it's going to be 6.67. So it'll be close for us. And, of course, if you have any cool uh, pictures, we want to see them. Most definitely. I was able to see them in Port Huron about a month ago. They were so beautiful. So if you do see the Northern Lights, be sure to send a picture of it to us on my picks. It's totally free to sign up and you can find instructions on how to do it right on the homepage at clickondetroit.com.